Update 6.5 is out now for the PlayStation 4, so let's do a quick rundown of that with everything you need to know and discuss that other feature that Sony promised for early 2019 that you would think is part of this update as well, right? Well, it's not. So let's get into it. If you enjoyed that, then a like would be super appreciated. And let's go. The normally big 0 0.0 and 0.5 PS4 updates have been pretty lackluster these last few times. The 6.0 update did not even have any big features until they later like added the download function for the PlayStation Now. But before this, these big updates added folders or the super sampling mode for the PlayStation 4 Pro. And right now we're looking at 6.5 that is actually another lackluster update like the biggest thing that it has is remote play on your iOS devices. So you need to download an app on your iPhone or iPad as well and it can be hard to find. A workaround is searching for the official PlayStation app first and then going to developers and then you should be able to find the app there. But I will also leave a link in the description down below so you can easily download the app if you want. So what remote play is, is that you can stream your PS4 screen to your iPad or iPhone and then use virtual controls, so on screen controls to control control your PS4 and even play games as well. Like this is Horizon on the iPad Pro from Yastromox on Reddit who already tested it out and was kind enough to let me use his screenshots. According to him it's a good start but it's not really there yet. There's namely no DualShock support for the iPhone and iPad yet so you have to do it with these on screen controls and this feature only works via Wi-Fi so even if you have an unlimited 4G data bundle you need to have a Wi-Fi connection. If you have remote play running though then you can use a voice chat via the app and then use the iPad or iPhone mic to talk to other people and you can also send messages via the sort of keyboard on your iPhone or iPad via the message function but yeah without DualShock 4 or 4G support it is kind of lackluster for sure also worth noting by the way is that a similar feature is already available on Android like a while back actually. But right now it only works on Sony devices so if you like me have a Samsung Android phone like then you are out of luck. Maybe it will change soon that all the devices can use remote play but for now it's kind of a weird situation. Other features from the 6.5 update include 720p streaming using the Nico Nico live service and that seems to be a Japanese streaming channel and in some countries you can now assign the enter operations that you can do with the circle button to the X button but I don't see that in the system settings on my PS4 so again it's only for a limited amount of people. And that is it for as far as we know right now and I think this also shows you that we're getting at the end of the console generation with Sony not really willing to spend resources to add new features to the PS4. We are still waiting for one big thing though, the PlayStation Network name change. Back in October 2018, Sony said that they wanted to roll this out for everyone in early 2019 and that mostly means like the first quarter of the year. We're now in March, so it has to happen this month then, right? I know there were many issues with the beta that started at the end of last year and Sony has been pretty quiet about it overall. But yeah, I can see this update like laying the groundwork for that as well and that it will just be switched on at a later date. So that is really all there is to this mandatory PS4 update. Normally I have like a full rundown of all the new features and like show you them in action as well, but... Now it is not so exciting anymore. When there is another big update though that does change a lot, I will of course let you know here on the channel. So totally subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video to support the channel. Check out my gameplay impressions on Sekiro Shadows Die Twice or my video on Days Gone and the amazing things I learned after playing that game. For now, I will speak to you next time and goodbye.